Morning folks, welcome to another episode of Dave's Allotment. Get the kettle on. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Still cracking on at the allotment. So get the kettle on. See you in a bit. Ah, uh, right, that's better. Have a bit cup of there before I get on with things. The weather's been pretty uh, bad <laughs> all week, just about. It's been raining, frosty, not spring like at all. In fact, it's quite, it's, it's an okay day today, but it's a bit windy and the, the wind's still got a bit chill. But, it's, like I say, I've got things to do, because I need doing. All them brassicas, the cabbages, the kale and all that need to go out, because they're, they're getting too, far too big for the pots now. Um, my potatoes as well, they're going to go out. I'm going to have a little read of my book, while I have my cup of. Now, this is a kind of interesting book. Percy Thrower, remember him, people? I can remember him from, um, I thought that was 20 quid, that fellow. <laughs> I remember him from uh, Blue Peter. But there's books from the 70s, this 19, here's a look. Nineteen seventy four. It's great. Some of the pictures, man. Look at it. It's proper seventies. There he is, Honey's path. Putting putting on some stuff there. Proper seventies looking pictures. But it's the old, the old methods which are the best. So I'll read that. Have a cuppa, get me work boots on, and crack on. Right, I'm going to start putting the brassicas out now. As you can see, I've prepared that bit of land. I've, that bit is ready, so now I'm just going to do a little bit of fertiliser. I've mixed a bag of fish blood and bone, hoof and horn, and uh, some seaweed powder into this bag so I'll give that a bit bit fertilize as you can see these here are getting a little bit big for the pots now so now that it's fertilized I'll just go along I'll put these in as you do the way I'm doing that I think I'll get Dave to plant some potatoes down there, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, so while Dave gets on with that,
Right, that's them in. Um, I've left a couple there just to show you what's going on. Right, that's the kaleettes in. I put another row of cabbages in next, and then the kale. And uh, if me if me calculations are correct, there should be a row of potatoes in there as well. So I think it's time to have a cuppa. Right, so the the taties are in. Well, the first rows in anyway. I've left these couple just to show you what I've been doing. So I've dug a hole. I would have usually used Ray's little tool that he made, but yeah, he hasn't left it out yet. So I've just been cracking on. So what I've did, dug a hole about 18 uh, to a foot, foot deep. Uh, I've added some of the fish blood and bone mixture in the bottom of each hole and into the mixture of the soil that's going to go back in the hole. Now what I also have done, some comfrey, get some comfrey in the bottom there now, because it's all good. There's an endless supply of it at, at this time of year, so make the most of it folks. So there you go, that's in there, there's one chit on there, there's a couple starting three, but I, like I say they all, it doesn't matter about that to chit or not to chit that is the question well last year the the chits weren't massive and I got the best crop I ever have and the guy at the shop said when I was asking him about potatoes and that he said uh, oh by the way I'm just sprinkling the soil over so I don't break any chits because uh, you don't want to do that and once the chits covered just pile the soil in and it'll be sound. Hi, I was asking the bloke who's been gardening for years. Um, he never chits his potatoes, he doesn't need to. Uh, and like I say, mine are chitting. They've been chitting for a while. But you can see there the, the chits aren't huge. In fact, that one there's on the bottom. Let's get that off. You don't want any on the bottom. A little sprinkling, not to disturb the the chits. <sighs> Flies or, or bees, I don't know. One of the two. Right. Oh, what's that there? Just thought I seen a slug. <laughs> Must be seeing things. Right. That's that. And for now I'll just put that there so I can mark them out and I know where they all are. Champion. Time for a cuppa. Another job I need to do today is get these tomatoes out into this trench. Because it's about that time. And I've noticed as well they've got the carry few suckers on. So I might as well get the suckers off. Hey sucker! Get them off before I plant it. Saves time later on. So what to prepare this bed. I'll just put some um, fish blood and bone, some seaweed mix, some superphosphate and some hoof and horn in here. And this stuff here is comfrey, 
which has dried up out of the, it's just the comfy sludge. So I've added that as well and some fresh comfy leaves. That should be Cali. So I, I say I get these in. I think. Right, that should be fine. In fact, I'll start here. And get these in. Give it a bit of a mix up. A 10 pence mix up. Now I wouldn't usually plant straight into the ground. I would all, always have like a, a another pot so you can feed from the top and water from the bottom. But this year with it with being a new trench and new soil and that I'm just gonna stick them straight in. Carry roots on there. I'll get it sunk down. I'll get two in there like that, no problem. Now you do want no suckers on. Sucker. That'll do. Right, that's the first ones in. I'll get the rest in and then I think it'll be time to show you around. See you in a bit. Right, that's it, I'm done. It's uh, nearly seven o'clock now, so I think I've had enough. I'll show you around. I've just got some rhubarb there. I've got some shelves as well, which I'll show you later, because I've also got some glass. Now, this belongs to this greenhouse, which is going to be chucked in the skip. The whole lot, glass, greenhouse, everything. So I had to, I had to save it. It's just there for now, but I have got a plan. Like I say, all the glass is just about there. There's only a couple of panes missing. Um, I carry on with a tour. Tadpoles are in there. That needs filling up as well. It's a bit, uh, bit dry by the looks of it. Right. So what have I been doing today? Oh yeah, the bluebells are coming up. Bluebells are coming up. And there, there, look at the. These are the English variety. These are the ones that these ones are killing off slowly but surely. Nice little. Like pinky purpley colour them. Nice. Uh, right. I've put two rows of taties in there. This bit, I've just piled this on here for now. I have got a plan, which I'll be doing tomorrow with that bit. Um, so, that's a row of Charlotte. There's eight potatoes in that row. And this is a row of Estima. 
that's eight potatoes in that row as well they've had a good watering in so I'll get another two rows in there when the, on another day there's me cabbages the cabbages the winter bow kale the scarlet kale and the kaleettes are all in and netted over so it's up to them now I've put the broad beans out as well bees have been in the cold frame as well for about two weeks now so everything's coming on canny the onions are doing all right as well the herb garden is coming on leaps and bounds like I say this lovage stuff I don't know whether they leave it there and transplant these bay or what because this uh, foxglove that's going to smother the, the bay as well oh well yeah I've been using the comfrey the rest of this comfrey here all this comfrey will be going in that bucket over there and will become comfrey juice there's the artichoke that never stops growing my mates next door there I'm going to party I haven't got time for parties been giving this a bit of a trim yeah I'll tell you the best way to do this with my hand just do it like that it comes up canny just pick it off spot on uh, these clay seed bomb things are starting to grow like let's see what happens there the same there as well is starting to grow let's see what happens I got this out of that the greenhouse that was going to get chucked he didn't want that either so I don't know what it is like he says it gets uh, nice flowers on so we'll see what it is the clematis is growing up there can he and on that side as well I put the peas out here just because these need to harden off and all because they'll be going out maybe tomorrow there's some rhubarb lovely rhubarb rhubarb um, the honeysuckle isn't much uh, happening there like but these are the benches I got spot on there's a mesh ones and the solid shelves I put one in here and it works a treat look at oddments <laughs> that's a word that you don't usually hear these days oddments to clear uh, what's happening I'll tell you what's happening these melons nothing's happening the ones that are planted in there as well nothing's happening these broad beans and dwarf French beans nothing's happening there the spinach is starting to come up and look at I put two melon seeds in when I put these spinach in so that's only a fortnight ago if that and uh, there they are so I have got so two I've got some melons they'll be getting put in there like that's the cabbage I, I saw the other week as well coming up canny their primo cabbage there's me peppers coming up slowly that pumpkin needs to go out soon as well that's the uh, what were they again calabrese broccoli potted on the leeks are coming up the sunflowers all well that one I can see that's just about to come up there so the competition begins I think that's gonna be the biggest but we'll see we'll see the cucumbers yeah they need to go in the ground as well there's the parsnips they need to go out there's a couple of broccoli and the cauliflower they need to go out and uh, get potted on these are the dahlias from seed they're all starting to come on now eh? Uh, look at these dahlias 
romping away, especially this one. So I'm going to have a nice bunch of uh, dahlias in the summer there. The carrot there, the carrot challenge carrot zarid, in the the parsnip, the ugly parsnip challenge. That's our it now. Here's a couple of more. The cucumbers I got off Martin. They'll go out soon as well. Yeah, they'll be going into here. Now there's the tomatoes planted. There's six Shirley at the back. And six Stora's exhibition. I'll get these bamboo canes. I'll put them up another day. Like I say, it's seven o'clock now. I've, I've done enough. So they should be all right in there. The sweet corn, double the size now. Look at the size of them, man. It's amazing. The garlic is just growing. I don't know what's happening underneath, but it's growing. Strawberries, and then there. Oh yeah, the grapevine. Look at this now. Now it. Look at all of them vines coming off this one branch. Now I know they're far too close together so they will have to be pruned off. However, in fact I'll just take that one off now. Right, the plan is I'm just going to leave it for this year and see which one's the strongest sort of vines. I'm going to keep this one on and keep this one and I'll keep one of these on, like I say, which one I don't know yet. But they're far too close together. But at least it's surviving. It'll not take long before it's back up here, and along the middle of the, the middle of the greenhouse, where it's supposed to be. So that's about it, folks. Um, nothing else really more to show you. So I'll make myself a cuppa and sit in the shed and sign off. Right, so that's it for the day, folks. Um, I've started the tainties, as you see, blah, blah, blah. Everything's done. Um, I will be back tomorrow to do some few other jobs. And for those who are interested, I know you are interested the last time, I will be going down to my mate Jeff's allotment tomorrow to look at his super polytunnel because um, he's got some chrysanthemums for us so I might as well make a little video while I'm down there to show you because honestly his, his early tate is already up man he's, he gets three crops a year from one like his polytunnels you know so if you're interested stay stay tuned because there will be another video probably tomorrow um, and that's about it I'll give you a little update on what's happening with Annie. Um, and thank you for all the comments and concern about Annie on the past couple of videos. Um, there was a couple of you says about you move. Well, I've, I've been getting at that since our injury happened in the first place. She's been on you move. I put her on some cod liver oil type stuff for dogs and things like that. The thing is, they aren't painkillers and that's what she needs now like um painkillers so she's gonna I'll, I'll just have to give her rimadil for the rest of her for the rest of her life um someone also said and i've looked on this and researched about it and um it seems quite good turmeric paste now it's meant to be good for us as well so i might start necking it myself but basically, uh, she started. I've started giving her the turmeric paste as well. That doesn't work. It starts getting into her system in about two weeks time. Hopefully, that'll start working. Because I don't want to give up uh, anti-inflammatories for the rest of her life. It's not going to do her any good. Hopefully, like I say, this turmeric paste will work. But until then, so just after I'm going to have to go to the get some more tablets uh, I can't have her in pain like you know what I mean poor thing uh, 
so that's the update on Annie and that's about it like I say oh there is one thing though before I go I was reading this book before and I, I stepped outside when I was holding it and uh, something strange happens now if you can see that picture there it's like 1960s style there 1970s style can you see I can't tell anyway there, there's Percy Thrower Honey's path like I say I was just sitting I was sitting reading it now I, I, someone come so I had the book in my hand like this and watch what happens Bad, eh? <laughs> Watch again. So, in the 1970s style, I say thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for subscribing, commenting, liking, and all that kind of thing. Summer is on its way, but spring hasn't even set yet, so let's hope everybody's garden gets good crops this year and all that kind of thing. So, for now, Stay tuned tomorrow for a Easter, I mean a Easter, you know, for a bank holiday special. Woohoo! Okay folks, thank you again for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing, it really means a lot. Bye now.